Bovine viral diarrhea, or BVD, is a highly contagious viral disease of cattle that can affect cattle of any age and any herd. It is one of the most costly cattle diseases in the world. The disease may cause infertility and abortion, respiratory and gut disease, and in some cases can be fatal. The main source of the virus is from persistently infected animals known as PIs. These are animals which have been infected in the uterus before birth. PIs will always shed the virus, as will their offspring. Therefore, these animals must be culled. If a PI animal enters a healthy herd, the BVD virus will spread, infecting previously healthy animals. This is known as transient infection. Transiently infected cattle will shed infectious virus for up to several weeks, during which time they present a risk to other cattle. If cattle are in early pregnancy at the time they first encounter the virus, either the cattle will abort or any calves born will be persistently infected. Livestock movement is the most likely way to introduce disease onto your farm. Key things to avoid are purchasing pregnant cows and taking cows that are in their first trimester of pregnancy to shows. Any calf from such a pregnancy must be tested and shown to be negative before it is added to other groups of calves or cows. It is ideal to run closed herds, but failing this, buy replacement stock from accredited or trusted sources. It is wise to always check the disease status of any newly purchased or returning animals, even if it is just from the local show. It is vital to be aware that infected cattle may not show any clinical signs for weeks or even months after infection. In countries such as Scotland, where eradication schemes are compulsory, the BVD status of all breeding cattle must be known. Always keep introduced animals isolated and ensure best practice quarantine conditions. Irrespective of official BVD status, all new or returning animals should always be quarantined in isolation in a separate building until test results are known. All persistently infected cattle must then be kept in isolation until culled. Discuss quarantine requirements specific to your herd with your vet. Nose-to-nose -nose contact over fences to neighbouring farms should always be minimised to help prevent transmission of the virus to healthy animals. Double fencing with a gap of at least three metres is recommended. To help prevent the spread of the BVD virus, always use a disinfectant foot bath and brush at the entrance to the shed housing potentially infected animals. Check your disinfectant is effective against the BVD virus and is at the correct concentration. Wash or change clothing before entering and exiting and always deal with healthy animals first. There are effective diagnostic tests available for BVD, including tissue tagging and a blood test. Retest any animal that tests positive one month later to confirm animals as persistently infected. These animals should then be kept in isolation until culled. Vaccinating is an effective way to prevent BVD. Breeding animals should be vaccinated to prevent the infection leading to the birth of PI offspring. This should be done before first service and booster vaccinations are essential. You can help control the spread of disease by developing herd health plans in consultation with your vet. This allows you to create a disease control strategy before busy times, such as calving, which can save many headaches. These plans ensure preventative vaccines and diagnostics are used at the correct time, as well as screening and regular monitoring. There are official BVD eradication schemes active in both Scotland and Northern Ireland, with voluntary schemes available in the rest of the UK. Check on the relevant websites for further information on the scheme operating in your area. At Morden and SRUC, we are working together to carry out research into many key livestock diseases and disease surveillance for farmed livestock, 
supported by Scottish Government.